today guys well I'm at uh, one of my baits here I've actually moved this bait uh, about a half a mile down I had just come from there and I got a little bit of action uh, there's not a whole bunch right now but we got a little bit of snow here over the last couple days and there's tracks and whatnot but I came here to pull and I got a coyote here. I haven't checked the rest over here. I don't, there's not much action up at the bait, so I don't think I have, have anything else. I was pretty surprised to get this one. We'll try and pull him out of here. Not a huge dog, but it's definitely a good one. Nice color to it. <clears throat> it's a perfect neck shot on this one. That was the first coyote I got off of this here trail. I had one walk up to it, and you could see he must have seen the snare, smelt it something, and he turned right away and buggered off. So this is the first one I got on this trail. Pretty good dog, looks nice. So, but like I said, I'm gonna pull the rest of these snares and whatnot, and I'm gonna move them down there. It isn't, uh, it isn't a lot of action right now, but there are fresh tracks there. Um, we, like I said, we got that snow, and these tracks aren't covered in snow or anything. So everywhere where it blew, these guys have been there today for sure. So. But I wanted to also make a big shout out to David Coffee from Coffee Outdoors. You guys check him out on YouTube. He's got a pretty good channel going. Good day, guys. I'm at one of my baits. <clears throat> Just checking. I've had little to no action here. Uh, I guess for the last well over a week, week and a half, or whatever it's been. Today we've got quite a bit of hoar frost. I know it's tight quarters in here, but just kind of show you. I do like the hoarfrost that's pretty. I just don't like it when I am snaring, as you can see, how it sticks to those snares. And every coyote coming through here is going to see that for sure. I can see right here I've got some kind of tracks. Walking up to there, and that's about it. From here it looks like coyote tracks, but I don't know for sure if it is or not, but. So yeah, guys gotta go around and start knocking all that damn frost off every snare now, just to make sure the sun will do it and stuff once the sun comes out again, but. Who knows, you might have a few misses between then and now and then, I guess. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to, to show you that. I had a hell of a time getting in here. Snow blew in a little bit and she's getting hard, so it was hard to back up, but maybe I'll show you that when I get over there. So yeah, here's my, my bait in that bush. Everything's blowing in. It's about as deep as my boot where I'm standing. And the trailer always wants the jackknife in here, so I'll put a little bit of bait here again. I see some coyote trucks out in the field, so maybe they're coming back now. I don't have uh, have a lot of faith in this bait anymore. <coughs> Last year this was my highest producing bush, but I don't know what the deal is if there's another guy snaring somewhere around me, or maybe there's no kites, I don't know. The bait was getting hit pretty good early in the fall, or late in the fall, early in the winter. I've only got eight or nine out of this bush 
so far this year. So not doing too great, but so I'm just gonna put a little bit of bait here. Go pick up another load and gonna start another new bait today. So hopefully in a couple weeks it will it'll be ready to set. But but you can see the coyotes haven't really been digging here at all. There's some tracks here. There's new fresh tracks out in the field out there. But but all this digging here, this is just birds picking around. It's kind of the shits the guys gotta go knock all the the hoarfrost off the snares, but so but yeah, okay. Well I'm gonna dump this bait and I'll see you guys at the next one. Okay, we are at <clears throat> my I guess last bait of the day. This is what I'm gonna call them, one of my new baits. I bait started baiting it here. I would say a week ago, I guess, today. And I came in here yesterday and set some snares. I only set six in the bush. Um, this is number five. I checked the other four. There's nothing. There's got a few tracks out there, but we got a dog here. Let's see if we can't pull him out of here. Oh, he's tangled. Looks pretty good. He's real dark color. He definitely tried to back out of out of this one. He's caught right behind the ears there. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be too bad. So yeah, this is where I was anchored, I was set in there. A lot of willows and stuff in here. So there's not a lot of great anchor points, I guess, but. While I'm doing this, I guess I wanted to say uh, thanks for all the private messages and uh, the comments from uh, a few of my buddies in Estevan, Tim and Jason. And do a couple buddies that are closer to home, Dean and Dwayne. Some of you guys probably know Dwayne. He's also running a YouTube channel. It's uh, Triple Nickel Trapper. You guys should check him out. He's got a pretty good channel going. So we will see if we can't make this work again. Perfect. Well, I'll go over here and check the other one. Well, I checked that last snare and we got uh, nothing out of that one. So that one today out of here, like I said, I, I baited it for the first time last week. And usually I like to leave it sit for a couple weeks just to kind of get them accustomed to coming and going and whatever else before I set snares. But... So I baited this one a little bit. Got a little bit left here. I'm gonna go start another bait in a new area I've never been. Usually when I start a bait, I like to put quite a bit there. Um, just kind of gets the coyotes to keep coming a little bit longer, I guess. In case the birds find it, at least there's gonna be a little bit of food left before before the birds eat it all. But yeah, nice little coyote's furred up real well. 
He's a pretty dark little thing though. But that's okay, we'll take him. Okay, till the next time. Well, this is the new bait that I'm gonna start here. Doesn't look like a whole bunch. Well, it's not really a whole bunch, I guess, but a lot of it's sunk into the snow and stuff, but. So this is a good thick bush here. Pretty foggy today. It's lifted a little bit since earlier this morning, but. So yeah, like I was saying with putting more bait here, it's just because it's new. Coyotes have never seen it before. They haven't found it yet. I just kind of like, like a little bit more. It will bring the birds and whatnot, but another thing I do is, hopefully that's in focus, <clears throat> I have a long distance call lure and just a canine lure that I have got from Dam Beaver. And what I've been doing is, like it's been so warm lately, so for that aspect it works pretty good, but I just break off little limbs and stick it up high in the trees just so that that smell can carry. So I don't know if it works or not, but in that last uh, video or the last where we caught that coyote, uh, when I was in the bush checking that last snare, you could really smell that skunk odor. So I'm sure they can smell it and hopefully it'll bring them in. But so yeah, well that's that for the day. Until the next time.